And welcome back to Let's Play Alchemy for the Wii. Last time we uh, continued through Sita Ruins, saved the waterfall, and now we are heading back to the main room. And conveniently, there's actually a path right here to the main room. Okay. Uh, no fall damage. That's right. So we can just jump straight down. Okay. Go through here. Uh, I actually don't need to worry about swimming because the short time you need to swim is not really an issue. Okay, it's really poisonous in here. I still feel like these are suspicious, but I don't know what to do with them. I've tried to do this, and it doesn't actually do anything, so... Yeah. Or maybe it's just because before I've been really far away from all of them. Yeah, this doesn't seem to actually do anything. Uh, to my knowledge. Cannot double jump off those. Lovely. You can use the power of Bloom to fill it in. Just fill it with your brush and the Bloom will take care of it. Yeah, I've tried this before and it ne never seems to work. Apparently it worked that time. Okay. So, something we can do off screen is go back and fill in all the spots that I didn't know how to fill in. I was trying to circle it in and I, I guess you just have to, uh... Like, just fill it in. So yeah, I was just kind of doing it wrong. Oh well, more you know. So yeah, I obviously have to go back to Shinshu Field and do that, and obviously learn the last of your main skills as well. Okay, so how many more spots do we have to fill in again? See, that time it didn't count for some reason. I assume that was the last one, so that's why we got a little bit more of a flourish there. I'm not entirely sure how this works. Oh hey, that, that worked. Ah, first one of those things that we've actually successfully uh, figured out what to do with. Hey, look! That light! There's a constellation here, too? You know the drill, just like, do this and hope for the best. Whee! Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, like that, the star that actually took, to me, it looked like it wasn't anywhere close to the actual end of the line. So, it's a good thing I did that. Uh, the last of these these guys, I suppose. Ah, uh, Amatras, fortune of all that is good mother to us all. I, Sutagami, the last in the triumvirate of Hanagami floor gods, have humbly awaited your glorious return for a hundred years. May the fresh spring growth bloom from your snow white form, bring new life to the land that suffers under evil. That was Sitakami, the third and final god of Flora. He's the god that can make vines do his bidding. One folk tale tells how Tsukami used that power to, to, to tie vines to his body so he could fly through the air. Hey, that's the Konohana Blossom, the flower of the god. It's over there. Try making a vine sprout right out of it. This? So close yet, so far. Draw a line from the Konohana Blossom to your body. Oh, okay. Like that. Whee! Okay. Cool. Perfect. Ah, sure it's handy to have a god around. We draw out vines when the Konohana Blossom is open. Let's look around and see if any others are blooming. Now, I vaguely remember having, uh, seeing this power in action before, but, uh... Yeah. Pretty handy. Obviously, that's why all the little blossoms have actually been sealed up until now, because we've actually not needed this ability at all. I mean, since we didn't have the ability, we didn't actually need... <laughs> Any of the blossoms you have opened up, I suppose. 
And also the cursor does turn kind of a grayish color when you're actually like able to uh like release essentially. And I'm a white wolf now. And uh when Amitas is like pure white, you kind of or she kind of reminds me a little bit of um the wolf in Twilight Princess. Sorry to keep going back to Twilight Princess comparisons, but it's like the closest thing I've played to this. Uh, but actually, it's, uh, that's something I've been wanting to go over, is the fact that this game really doesn't feel like a Zelda, because people always compare it to Zelda. To me, yeah, it has Zelda-esque elements, but it doesn't exactly feel like a Zelda. Like, what I'm trying to say is it, it does a good job of, like, doing stuff differently, to the point where it doesn't feel like a car carbon copy, like a ripoff. Um, it's good. That's a compliment. Uh, some games do feel like Zelda copies, and that's usually a bad thing, but this game kind of stands on its own two feet. Or four feet. Because Amatros. Yeah, bad jokes. Um, okay. Guess just keep going up. How the hell did the dog actually get up here? Like, that's now my biggest question, like, how did the dog get to the top of this thing? Unless the monsters carry the dog up to the top, and in that case I'd be completely understanding. But otherwise, it's like, how the heck did the dog do this? Great, we made it to the top, but it's just a dead end? Huh, what's this? A hook? Doesn't it make you want to tie something to it? Gee, I wonder what we do here. For... Blossoms for oops, uh, four things. How do you recenter the camera again? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a button to recenter camera, but I don't remember which one. It might be Z, actually. Wow, thanks, camera, for really cooperating. Uh, I'm standing on top of it. This could be really bad. Oh, okay. It recentered me, or it got me off the thing in the cutscene, so that was good. Drop down. That's gonna close, isn't it? Ooh, nice. Can I just do this? Like, take them all out? Wow. That's pretty handy. And another save point, which, you know what that means, we're probably gonna have a boss fight or something bad pretty soon. Can I do, like, a bunch of little slashes? Apparently so, but it's not very effective. Actually, let's try this. I know I should be progressing instead of just trying to blow up statues, but hey. We're, we're still early, it's like 8 minutes in. Candle, cannot break the candles. Oh. An ominous chamber at the end of a long hallway. I wonder if this is gonna be a boss fight. Godhood tips. Scroll drawn by wandering artist. Okay, that's the scroll I was looking for, because last time I was trying to find something on Raising Godhood, and I couldn't figure it out. So let's, let's actually look at that. That's a map. Um... Travel guide... Da, da, da. Wait, wait, what was that about Oshi? Okay. Godhood! String attacks into combos to increase your level of Godhood. Godhood creates a barrier that deflects enemy attacks, running from foul character, blah, blah, blah. Um... So... How do you see your godhood level in, like, in battle? Also, I noticed, um, over here there's a section for straight beads, so I'm gonna look at this. Um... Okay, that's... that's a lot. Um... So... Uh, it blots out the names, but you can kind of guess, like, this is... I. I don't know what that is. Kevanagi Kamiki Village? That'd be my guess. Uh, like Shinshi Field. Shinshi Field, that works. I got a forest, and so on. No, wait, this is a god forest down here. I don't know what this one. Uh. Oh, wait, that's the same thing, just more long of a name. Oh, well. That's like way too much information for now, but we're gonna try to get all the straight beads. 
I can't make any promises though. Cause this is blind. Really gonna go in there? Really are you, are you serious? I'm getting a real bad vibe here. What's beyond this door? Sure we're ready? Maybe we need to go back outside. We're ready. Got 10 minutes. Be first think later. Huh. This is not what I expected it to look like in here. Look, Ami. There's a golden gate. It will store the memories of all you've done if you pass through it. That way if you ever die, you can start over again from that point. It's a free pass to continue with your game even after you mess up. But it doesn't have it does have its limits. Stored memories will be wiped clean if you quit the game. If you use an origin mirror to save a game, your memories will be transferred there. Either way, passing through a golden gate or saving with a, an origin mirror will allow you to continue your adventure. Well, we might as well pass on through. So in other words, this is basically a quick save, from what I can tell. Which means we're probably getting to the, like, the first real boss of the game, if they're giving us a quick save. Ow, nice going for a ball. I keep telling you not to space out like that. Hey, something moved. Whoa. Check out this big ol' flower. I just might have stumbled onto something here. Flowers like this are usually just packed with treasure. Hey, is that a dog down there? Hey, let me go, wolf breath. I'm all covered with your slobber again. Uh, I have a feeling that is, you know, what's called pre-battle foreshadowing. <laughs> Check out that shadow, I see eight. Wait, it couldn't be. Are you that dog that has been sniffing about? I will not allow you to ruin my master's triumphant return. I wish I could read that. <laughs> or if it was subtitled. Sticking your nose where it does not belong will get you killed. Speak your last words, fool. Okay, I think I get the point. This is the first boss. I think we'll, uh, Albatross is like really not caring. How dare you? Dog is not usually on my menu, but I shall make you an exception. Okay, what are you talking about? I saw that dog you gobbled up. And besides, this ain't no dog. This here is a god. And now the beast can speak. Very well, then I shall send you back to where you came from. This shall not hurt a bit. Stand still for just a moment. That's the godhood, it's the thing down there. It's green. So obviously it's pretty clear what I have to do. There's these hooks back here. And just gotta do that. Snag it. Um obviously snag all of them and it'll open up like the spider's uh back, essentially. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Cool. And then just blow up the eyes. Because like all action adventure games, the eyes are the weak points. And it's probably gonna try to open and like close up and swallow me. It's sort of like 
Uh, Kyle Damos? Kyle Damos? I don't know. I I don't know the names of Wind Waker enemies. Apparently. Um, that's a problem I do have with the Wind Waker, is that they don't tell you enemy names. And I find that kind of annoying, actually. Because, like, every other game that tells you enemy names, except Wind Waker. And this is the first boss. This is actually really easy. I mean, I didn't think this would be a difficult boss, but it feels really straightforward already. Um... Okay, like, I'm not even dodging at all. What I thought was gonna be the thing is you'd have to hook all of the vines, not just some. So not not having to do all the vines actually makes this really, really easy. When the controls work. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of just a little bit more time consuming than anything. Uh, I should be able to get two eyes this phase? Uh... Ow. Well, I guess we can see what happens when this goes badly. Uh... Are there few of Oh, there we go. It's like, a, wait, where'd the other flowers go? Uh, yeah, also the detection on these things are actually pretty generous. More generous than I would have expected. Up like so, and that should be enough. Uh huh. Wow, two in one cycle. I mean, I hit two at the same time, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, one more cycle should be all it takes. Uh, I wish there was a way to start dashing in midair. I mean, like, in combat, because. As far as I can tell, you can't actually dash in combat, and that's kind of odd. Because you'd think that'd be a time when you'd need to dash. Okay. So we should be able to take out these last pretty easily uh, in this time. And we are done with, apparently, the first boss, I guess? And thus, Amatross was able to traverse the vine-covered ruins and defeat the devious spider queen lurking within. The ugly arachnid's body had been turned into a beautiful blossom, and a feeling of tranquility reigned throughout the ruins. Inside the hearty blossom was discovered a tiny and defenseless dog, presumably consumed by the fearsome queen. Just when everything had begun to settle down, Starling Beast, a weapon long sealed away by the Spider Queen's magic, appeared before Almatross's eyes. Sweet, new weapon. You obtained the Vine Instrument, Starling Beast. Reflector marked with a beastly seal grants ink bullet power. Spider Queen was hiding a sacred weapon, tricky old bag. Hmm, maybe we'll get more weapons if we defeat some other monsters. Anyway, I can't wait to see what this one does. Look at that, Ami, the dog's just sleeping. Wonder if this is Ume, you know, the dog that kid was looking for? Let's bring him back once he wakes up. But first, how about a good victory, Hal? It might even wake him up. Well, I feel like that's a perfect place to end off. Assuming there's not another cutscene. Oh hey, it's asking me to save, cool! Uh, next time on Okami, we shall continue through uh, more of Suta Ruins and return the dog to its owner. Thank you for watching, I hope you join me next time. Bye!